Hello there, this is Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astrometrologist. Welcome to Star Codes. This is the podcast where we look at an upcoming event in the stars and numbers, the astrology and numerology. They are sister divination arts. They work together and every event we look at each week is helping us to navigate the incredible and intense awakening happening on Earth at this time. So today, we are going to look at mid-March because there's a lot happening. We have Mars and Neptune in a square, and this is going to be quite momentous because Mars will be coming out of its shadow from the retrograde that began October 30th and ended January 12th of this year, where there's a shadow period where Mars revisits all the degrees that it navigated through when it went retrograde backwards. So the day after Mars squares Neptune, which is on March 14th, on March 15th, Mars has moved through its complete shadow period. Mars usually stays about six weeks in a sign. And it takes around two years for Mars to move through the 12 signs, including a retrograde. And during the retrograde, Mars stays months in a sign. So it really intensifies the meaning of that sign, in this case, Gemini. Mars entered Gemini in August of 2022, went retrograde October 30th, ended the retrograde on January 12th of 2023, now is moving forward through Gemini again and will be at 25 degrees and I believe 37 minutes on March 15th, having gone back to the point where the retrograde began on October 30th of 2022. So this is big because it's happening at the very same time that the sun is in Pisces and that the ruler of Pisces, Neptune, is squaring Mars exactly, literally hours before the whole retrograde experience ends. And so Neptune squared to Mars in Gemini activates your desire, your passionate interest in discovering the true mysteries, especially with Mars in Gemini, words, and with Neptune in Pisces, sound. In the beginning, There was the word, and the word was sound. In a square, words and the energy behind the voice are the sound that you hear are really going to be noticed. They will be front and center. So we're going to be listening a lot more closely as to the integrity of words that we hear, of communication that's coming through. And Let's add one more piece of the puzzle to the equation. On March 7th, the day of the Virgo full moon, Saturn entered Pisces. And Saturn has been in Aquarius for two and a half, three years. Now it's entering Pisces for two and a half, three years. And Saturn in Pisces is adding to taking responsibility for all that we are not seeing and hearing clearly. So things we have idealized or things we have brushed under the rug or just things that have been kept hidden from us. With Mars squaring Neptune, we are really looking closely at what words we're using, what we're hearing and whether they literally make sense. Are they true? Mars represents the warrior energy and the warrior energy is either a warrior of light, a sacred warrior, or an actual warrior going to war. When confronted with conflict, what do you do? Do you run from it? Do you try to attack it? Or do you ask for awareness, ask for guidance. So this square means what are you truly carrying into each moment? Is it love? Is it wisdom? Is it 
is seeking of clarity or is it fear? Is it avoidance? Is it limitation? So you want to look at the quality of the frequency that you're focused on. And that means that you're conscious. And if there's any square that is asking you to be conscious about illusion, it is Mars square Neptune, about what is not real. And a square that brings things to the surface, especially since Saturn just entered Pisces and wants you to see, wants us all to see reality right away. So this is a spiritual commitment, right? This is a a commitment to your own self-empowerment, getting out of victimization. And so opportunities for spiritual growth, Pisces, expanded awareness and being self-empowered, Mars, and Pluto entering Aquarius this month as well. Are you being a conduit to help and assist and release all the dense energies on the planet? Not making things personal, not personalizing. That's really the main key here. We tend to take things personally when we get frustrated. We are learning to step out of, oh, you attacked me. Oh, that offends me. The individual versus the unique person. And this is what I teach in my free webinar, spiritualmasteryclass.com, because it's so important, the difference between individuality and uniqueness. And so we're learning how to step out of individualizing, personalizing, and instead stepping into being a unique expression of energy. And that unique expression is not personal. It is to surrender our individuality and allow the natural, the the part of us that innately speaks, that innately comes forth and exclaims and shares and, and, and is and takes action from that place. That is the key. That is the awakening. So we've lived in a society that has used personality as the main focal point. And that's why personality cults are such big drivers. We forget to turn in and we give our power away to a personality or we ourselves use our personality and not our inner innate to make decisions. And we personalize everything that comes to us. So free will then has been mostly limited to being about serving that individual, that personality, right? And so we need to see that being in a state of free will is the key because it's not about whether we have it or not. Of course we have free will, but are you in a state, an innate state of freedom? It is literally only about, are you doing it? Are you acting on it? And that's where Mars comes in. Mars is the passion planet. And Mars square Neptune is takes a concept like free will and brings it into being through action. Mars, you know, it, it inspires us from within through passion. So we need to look at any challenges that come up because squares are inevitably going to bring up situations that challenge us so we can grow. And, you know, the reason we have challenges is to note what needs to be addressed so we can clear it, right? So then we deal with it. We have amazing growth opportunities as a result. And the square between Mars and Neptune is literally exposing those illusions we have about ourselves, especially personality-wise or others. And what do those illusions result in? Well, having an opinion. (laughs) about everything. And those opinions are created through assumptions. We jump to conclusions. We have our personal way of seeing things and that results in my way or the highway. And those opinions create a lot of division and inevitably a battle, a war, and our individual self wants to go to war to defend itself, right? So, that's how it works. And this is all coming to the surface now. 
because anything that's hiding behind that mask of personality opinions, Neptune can mask things, Pisces can mask things, is coming to the surface. And remember, Pluto is also moving into Aquarius this month. So Pluto will empower by helping us look at any story that is masked by thoughts that personalize or that try to dominate. The takeaway really is what messages are you sending? What are you hearing? Notice how you're thinking about life, about others, how you speak, how you write, the energy behind it. Can you let the past go? Can you be forgiving? Can you extend forgiveness to yourself? For all those things that you may be judging others for, because it begins here. Those are really the questions. The Mars in Gemini ending its retrograde shadow square Neptune in Pisces questions. And we look at all of this in that free masterclass at spiritualmasteryclass.com. The secrets to spiritual mastery, the importance of your natal chart, which I create for you. And we look at your rising sign, the moon and sun's profound impact on you. Everything is revealed in that birth chart. And we look at the really critical difference between individuality and uniqueness. Really, the way to connect with spirit is to surrender the personality, the ego. And lots of secret tools are going to be revealed to you in that free masterclass. So have a look at that at spiritualmasteryclass.com and have an amazing week as we build into mid-March and remember the equinox is coming too and there's an Aries new moon at zero degrees. It's just so exciting this month. So I hope you enjoy the free class and I wish you a wonderful week and I'll see you in next week's Star Codes podcast. Lots of love.